Today, for the first time ever, we are revealing three brand new games set in the Clash universe. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Drew, the community manager for Clash Royale. I'm Darian, community manager for Clash of Clans. And I'm Seth. I've been a game designer for Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. And today, we're pulling back the curtain here at Supercell to show you not one, not two, but three new Clash games in development. With these new projects, we want to expand the Clash universe into ways you've never seen before, introducing new genres and new gameplays into the Clash world. But this is the first time in Supercell history we've ever shared any of our games at this early, early stage of development, so things are subject to change. If you want to find out more about these amazing new Clash games, head to Clash.com for more information. So let's jump into the first game. It's a turn-based tactical adventure strategy game titled Clash Quest. Hey, I'm Toko. I'm a game lead in Clash Quest team. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I work on the Clash Quest team as a producer. Clash Quest team is a small team in Helsinki, and we hope to provide this kind of fresh take uh, of the Clash world. Clash Quest is a tactical game which starts very simple. Once you get into it, you can see there's a lot of depth and the kind of complexity opens up. Players can expect to see some familiar things, the barbarian, the prince, archers, giants. The player faces off against preset defenses and the way that our troops work are similar to what you see in Clash Royale or Clash of Clans. Uh, the troop pathing or what they're targeting is very similar. Each battle is divided to few stages. You start with a set amount of troops in your army. If you run out of troops, uh, you lose the match. One way to get stronger in game is to get more units in your army. You get more units to your army by exploring the archipelago, so you can get these army increases as, a, as a rewards uh, from the battle and also from the map. So you can either select an individual troop and, and deploy them that way, um, but the rewards or the payoff is by actually forming larger combinations of the same troop. Um, and obviously those kind of things can have a big impact or effect on the outcome of the battle. The inspiration for Clash Quest actually came from the Clash characters we have. Each character has their unique way of uh, behaving or attacking. We felt like there's an opportunity uh, to create a totally like a new type of experience around those characters and, and provide like a new challenges for the players in a fresh way. One of the things that we're really excited as a team to uh, bring to the players is bosses. It's brand new. Um, in Clash Royale or Clash of Clans, there's not such a thing as enemies or villains. And our game has that. One other thing that's new to the universe is items. Each item triggers a bit differently. So some items you need to activate a big combo to get the item power. Some are more passive. So for example, Prince has an uh, item that does area damage when you have more than five princes. You try to make big combos, uh, activate your items in a smart way to uh, defeat the enemies. We want to expand the overall Clash universe through the environment and gameplay. And so hopefully at the end of it all, uh, the Clash Quest game is going to be deepening the overall Clash world uh, as well as expanding it. So when we think about visuals, we, we want to make the visuals support the gameplay as well as we can. We wanted to simplify a little bit of the characters so that they would be easier to read and easier to interact with. When you see the game, I think it's clearly a Clash game. Hopefully what feels familiar is that, that feeling of delight that feeling of frustration sometimes when you know that you should have made, maybe done a different move. We have a good mix of familiar of the Clash brand as well as bringing something fresh into the Clash brand as well. I'm most excited to actually get this game into the hands of players and see their reactions and response. I think a lot of people who have previously played Clash of Clans and Clash Royale are going to be playing this game, but uh, hopefully some people who haven't played those games were introducing the uh, Clash world to them as well. We feel like there's plenty of different ways and, and interesting possibilities how this game can be expanded. So exploring those and seeing the player feedback uh, will be really, really interesting. So that was a first look into Clash Quest. Now, if you want to stay up to date on the development of this game, make sure you visit Clash.com for all the details. 
Historically, all of our game development has happened in Helsinki, Finland. But as some of you internet detectives have noticed, we have spent the last couple years hiring new positions and staffing up brand new game teams in our studio, Supercell Shanghai. The final two games we're revealing today are actually the first games that have been developed in this Supercell Shanghai studio. We're gonna kick it over to our colleagues in Shanghai. Hello everyone, I'm Vlad from Supercell Shanghai. We've been having a blast creating not one, but two brand new Clash games. These two games have been a very passionate development for quite some time. So first up, we have Fan, the game lead and game designer on Clash Mini Team. Hi everyone, I'm Fan from Clash Mini. The endless fighting is not only happening in the villages and arenas, but now also on tables in the format of a board game within Clash. Players will be competing for intelligence and strategy against each other using miniatures. This is where the name Clash Mini came from. In Clash Mini, players place their minis at the same time. And when the placement is done, minis will commence the combat automatically. We wanted the game to be the most accessible and light-hearted strategy game. The game is intended to be easy to play, but still have lots of depth. On the gameplay side, we are trying to make a casual strategy game that everyone can play. So we decided to focus 100% on the strategy part, then the real-time control, like Clash Royale or Clash of Clans. As a player, the most striking thing about Clash Mini is the fact that minis themselves are incredibly cute and uniquely fitting to the world. Imagine your favorite characters from Clash sitting down at a mini table and dueling with the miniature versions of those around them. The world feels familiar, yet the cuteness of minis could be very deceiving as well. Some of them are a true challenge that you need to overcome in each round. And now, let's talk about our second game that we are working on, Clash Heroes. Hi everyone, I'm Nan, game lead for Clash Heroes. As the name suggests, Clash Heroes is a game where you assemble a team of diverse characters and set out on a journey through the world of Clash. You'll play a variety of adventures, some bite-sized and light-hearted, others more epic, like maybe when you encounter a goblin giant or a golem for the first time. In Clash Heroes, you'll see familiar characters that you may already love, with maybe some new twists to how they look or what they can do. But we're also looking to introduce some brand new characters to the universe. Whether you have five minutes or half an hour, we hope to offer you a compelling gameplay experience worthy of your time. At the same time, especially for more experienced players, we also want to give you the space to customize how you play. We're actually really looking forward to seeing the fun and crazy ways you will play these characters, especially when playing together with your friends. One thing to mention here, Clash Heroes is made with Unreal Engine. So this is quite frankly, a very different, a new way of game development for us. There's a lot for us to learn on this project, and I want to emphasize that we're still quite early in development. This concludes the Shanghai Studio Update. Back to you, Helsinki. How good do those games look? Super cool. We have had so much fun showing you these new Clash games that we have in development. And remember, we're developing these games because of you. This wouldn't be possible without the millions of Clash players and content creators around the world. So thank you so much for supporting Clash, and we hope these games get you as excited as we are. And while we're excited to share these brand new adventures set in the Clash world, this is just a reminder that these games are in very early stages of development. That means that they are works in progress and things are likely to change. Clash of Clans and Clash Royale will not be affected by the development of these new Clash games. We also have a bunch of other games in development at Supercell, and not all of them will be set in the Clash universe. That's right, there's always tons of stuff in development at Supercell, but if you want to find out more about the three Clash games we've revealed today, 
make sure to go to clash.com, link in the description below, to find all of the information we're ready to share at this point about the Clash games in development. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye, see ya.